Atlanta, Georgia. Mmm, varsity foods. But that's not what I'm here for. And no, I'm not here to cover the Georgia Bulldogs. Instead, I'm trekking my way to the Georgia Tech campus to visit with former Lady Panthers Nisha Adams and Mitra Walthour to get a quick interview, update, and a shout out of how they're doing as they get ready to start the season. After making my way on campus, I met with the girls and we had a little problem doing some of the videotapes. Nisha, go ahead and give you a shout out. I just want to get out a shout <laughs> oh, 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 Cut, split, edit. <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, we eventually got through our little videotape segment with the girls, and it's time to hit the road again, I-75 southbound, to head to Stevenson for the Bradwell Tigers playoff game in round one. Folks in Hinesville have nothing to talk about when they talk about traffic. I've moved probably about a oh, quarter mile in 15 minutes or so, and I still got all that good stuff way ahead. Okay, here we go. This is a little better. At least we're moving. I finally found my way to the old DeKalb Stadium for the Bradwell versus Stevenson game. Here are a few highlights. You know, I try to do my best to get as close to the action as possible, but I'm also smart enough to know when to run and get out of the way. <laughs> so it's day two of the road trip for the football games. Headed down to the Grange now. And uh, nice weather. It was a hard loss for the Tigers. 44 to nothing against an undefeated Stevenson team. And uh, we'll, see what, we'll see what today brings. Callaway Stadium. This is a critical now in overtime. The Panthers are inside. They are inside the three yard line and it's third down. Julian Stokes trying to touchdown, 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 touchdown. touchdown. Panthers win, 16-13, Panthers win. All right, so I'm really excited because the Panthers won last night. So it was really cool overtime win. It was really awesome, 16-13. And I'm not quite sure where they're going to be going uh, next week. Uh, Coach Kirk Warner said that it's going to be uh, Jackson. It was very exciting. And now on the last part of the road trip, which is heading back home to Hinesville. So uh, I'll be checking in shortly with y'all. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. yeah. Boys and girls. I want to let you know about this Jones. I got him on my bones. Uh, the coolest life. 